Hi, I'm Angeline with B-Sides, and I'm hanging out at Bottle Rock Music Festival here in Napa with Akira Galaxy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, we just caught your set out on the stage. It was amazing. We caught a little, little, caught a little bit of it, but I wanted to ask, we're in wine country. Are you excited to try some of the wines that are out here oh, today? Yeah, big time, big time. I'll be tasting. I'll be tasting them today, tomorrow. I'm here until Sunday, so <laughs> that's been some time. I've got some time to try them all. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of wine? Orange, 100%, 100%. Or like a nice chilled red, crunchy chilled red. Have you tried like pet nets? They're, I, it's like a French term, but it's basically like sparkling natural wine. And they're really good. There was one that I tried in LA like a month ago, and I, I've like I've been trying to look for it, but it's like I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'll be on the lookout. Yeah. No, it's amazing. I think you'll like it if you like orange wine. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. But again, speaking of your performance on stage, we did catch a little bit of it. I wanted to start off. We caught you when you started singing your song Teardrop, and I was listening to it before we got here, and I was kind of excited to hear you play it live, just because I've watched a couple shows that have that song as part of their um, intro for their TV shows, like House, it's part of House. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, House, okay. that's the intro for the show House. Um, I wanted to ask, like, what about that song kind of, like, made you want to cover it, and, um, like, out of all the songs? Well, I, I mean, my dad my dad and my mom have, like, were always playing Elizabeth Fraser's music, Cocteau Twins, um, and Massive Attack around the house when I was younger, and so I feel like I have a, a childhood connection to it, but... I also, I mean, Cocteau Twins is one of my favorite bands of all time, and I, I, I love the the mystery behind Massive Attack too. Maybe being Banksy, have you heard about that one? No. What is this? Yeah. Tell us more. Tell us more. Yeah, supposedly um, Massive Attack, like their tour, kind of, it was aligned with all the the Banksy that was showing up in in each city. So, I, I don't know. I think it's it's pretty pretty cool. Um, this but is no, I just I, I love that song. It's it's been something that I, I, I've felt a deep connection to since I was I was very young so it was cool to, to get into it yeah no it's and it sounded great live um I think it was um yeah it was during that song that you kept doing like uh you were like moving about the stage and it was like so graceful but you were also doing all these back bends and I was like <laughs> my back cannot do that I'm like you must have a great chiropractor <laughs> that's what that's what people say they're like um if I if I'm gonna be on a, a limbo competition then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm taking you I'm taking you but no I, I don't even know how that came about it just it just kind of naturally happened I realized that I can bend really far back and I was like okay I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I started taking mime class and doing some of that and I was like it, feel, it feels right it feels right for this song to incorporate that um, to some extent so yeah but there was one show where I I went all the way back so my legs were still on the ground my head went all the way down to the ground so I was like this oh my god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was still singing I was just hanging the the <laughs> microphone yeah. by the by the um, cable and I just bent my knees and came on up but I was it's always been like a deep fear of mine that yeah. I'm gonna fall back because I, I really push it to the limit yeah. I go as far as I possibly can and yeah I, I, it turned out okay so I know I know that it, worse comes to worse that we're gonna be all right <laughs> yeah yeah no I mean again I was seeing you do it and, I, and it flowed so beautifully with the music and I was like wow this is this I wish my back could do that <laughs> I also did go to the chiropractor right before in the artist section in, in the backstage so that might have yeah thank you thank you <laughs> thank you to the artist chiropractor backstage I will be back, will be back for more you dropped your debut EP earlier yeah. this year and to me like your name, first off, is Akira Galaxy. Very it, galaxies in your name, very space, spacey. And I think one of your songs, kind of the guitar introduction to it, kind of sounds a little spacey to me. It kind of just sounds like you're floating. And I was wondering, like, do you pull themes of like space into like into your music because because that's kind of your name? Yeah, it's interesting, you know, because I. It's it's not intentional. It's just it's just what I've been drawn to, mm -hmm. and even when I stir start sorry stir, <laughs> when I first started um, uh, kind of figuring out how how to use my voice in in the best way I could, it, it always felt like when I drug it out in this spacey way, that's what suited my voice the most. So, um, 
yeah, it's just, it's something I'm drawn to and maybe it's a subconscious thing to some extent, mm -hmm. you know, um, but I, I just love spacey, warm sounds mixed with kind of shimmery, yeah. star-like mm -hmm. elements and, and yeah, my name just happens to be that as well. So it's, it's a cool, it's a cool thing that's naturally happened and, or subconsciously, who knows, but. But yeah, not necessarily intentional. It's very ser serendipitous, like that it just all flows so well. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's like you know, anything. It's almost like if your your name kind of m has a little bit of you know the, an impact on the trajectory of your uh, your life to some extent. Sometimes you know, it's like I I don't know if I could go be an accountant, and I don't even know if I'd get hired with the name. They'd be like, a Cure Galaxy. That seems like a a, cr a crazy person, you know. So I felt like I was kind of, um, you know, I'm very grateful for my mom for coming up with that name because I feel like it kind of forced me to some extent to be in the arts, you know, and have that trajectory. It's a, it's on, it really is a great name for the arts. And then can you tell us like your mom's inspiration behind your name? Um, well, yeah. So my, my parents saw Akira, the Japanese anime, on their first date. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, yeah. But it's funny cuz she was she was between like Luna and Akira. Yeah. And very still a vote very spacey. Very spacey, yeah. very spacey. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, my parents saw on their first date. Amazing film. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. It was so great to hang out. Thank you so much Akira Galaxy. We'll see you next time.